welcome. Episode 3. Day 3 of Tim's going to Glamis Camp Razor and my knee is still broke. <laughs> or my leg. My leg is broken. It's broken because I consider it, if it doesn't work perfect, it's broken. Well, somewhat broken. But it's definitely bother me but we're doing okay we did make it here thanks for tuning in to episode three which you'll see we made it here coming up stay tuned if you haven't seen one and two go back and watch those first that way you'll know you know the order trying to ah, uh, we're just trying to do this to have fun but the good news is i made it to glamis camp razors in a couple days so we got a couple days to screw around uh, we got a few more episodes, four more, I promise you guys seven, seven it is, so enjoy this one, it's already tomorrow, I'm going to bed, I'm uploading this, enjoy it tomorrow, I'm going to have a fun day screwing around, getting you guys some killer footage, enjoy the video. Alright, welcome back, episode three, we are loaded up as you can see. Dang, I'm rhyming. Dropping rhymes already. That's because I'm super excited. We're uh, heading out pretty quick. We're going to see you at Red Earth in just a minute. That's the greatest thing about being on the internet when you're watching something. You don't have to wait like four hours to get there. So, anyways, last couple things. We'll wrap it up. We'll see you at Red Earth. I'm going to go feed the chickens. Gosh, are you kidding me? I'm supposed to be going to Glamis and chasing a doggone chicken. Great. Never gonna get him back in. Well, you know what that means. You don't chase them. We all know that. You just let them go. They'll be back in at night. Friggin' things. Dang it. <sighs> if my wife wasn't staying home, you guys would be coyote food. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get out of here. All right, who's still got this? Trackball. This is so glamorous. This is... Just has to happen when you're out there. Frisbee and trackball. All right. We gotta get it all in there. Somewhat organized. It's really organized. See, this is on... That's on top of that. And those are on that side. And then those are on, and then the frisbees on top. And then that extra can am game. Because you never know when uh, one of those are going to go. But this is actually organized. And see all that stuff? It's organized. It's inside of that box. So don't say this ain't organized. Here it is. Here's the train. Look at this. This is cool. All right, we're moving out. There's Landon. That's his new trailer. His nice tow rig. Look at that thing. It's so clean. It's going to be so dusted out when we get back. All right. This is it. Do not miss this turnoff. If you are going south to Glamis for the first time ever, just make a mental note. Do not miss this. Get on that 86. Because if you don't and you go that way, you got a long ways before you can turn around and come back. So don't miss it. 86 Expressway. Tally ho. I am there coordinated and I'm athletic. I really am. Shut that lady off. Nice looking rig. Let's see. 
Here we are. We made it. Red Earth. Oh my God. Look at all those freaking bugs. Wow. Crazy. Hey, this is how the high rollers do it right here. Okay. That's right, kids. You want to stay uh, somewhat ahead of the game? Pay cash. Make your money, save your money, pay cash. When my truck leaves the house, we pay cash until we're headed home. Cash. Cash is king, kids. Remember that one. These things don't run on plastic. There's no little card slot in here. Made it to Red Earth. Be there in a bit. See you in Glamis. I tried putting 91 in for the sand car. Not a bad price. 529. Not bad. Cash again. Take the rest of the change, so we're about 200 bucks right here. Wow, look at that. It's windy. Whoa, these are some big sand drifts. Man, that's gnarly. Welcome to Glamis. That's it. Alright, we're going home. No, just kidding. We're just coming into it. Keep in mind, this is the middle of the desert. Every single light you see is either an ATV, a vehicle, or a trailer. In the middle of the summer, this place is completely desolate just a couple of people ride we're three days early to the event it's a good thing you show up three days early look at this you got to get there three days early to get a parking spot all right we're just coming up on what they call vendor row or glamis flats right here that's right, we'll be in one heading to the hill tonight in a matter of minutes for you guys. That's why it's good to be on the internet because you just snap your fingers and we're there like that. You were at Red Earth, now you're in Glamis, look at this. They got a Ferris wheel set up, it's a big event. all your vendors good old glory right there beautiful that's where the big shindig goes on look at they're just setting up the uh, ferris wheel right there they actually bring in their own concrete foundation for that and they lay like a four inch thick concrete foundation under that ferris wheel and then people go on it I don't like it. I'm scared of heights. There's the world famous Glamis Beach Store. Santoy capital of the world. Here we go. Turn on the wash robe. We're going to go find our camp. See you in a minute.
trouble with the old auto level. Not the greatest thing in the world. At this point, I'd rather take a socket and a wrench. But anyways, we're here. Yep, that's right. Look at that. We found camp. There's my son working on his setup over there. Got our nice little setup right here. Got every light in the house is on over there. Every light on my truck's on too. I gotta go shut those off. I'll be back. All right. What's up? Hey. Welcome to Glamis. This is it. You get here, you get started, you get your tools out, you start working on stuff. <laughs> We're already wrenching over here. I don't know why, we got a fuse out or something. There's 500 fuses on these trucks. But I had some problems with my jacks. These things are really temperamental, man. Nightmare. Little units in here. Frisbee. But we got them all down, so we're level and they're down. But that unit, if it throws an air, you literally got to let it sit for, I don't know, a while. And then you come back and it'll go. So let's, let's check out what's going on over here. All right, so we got it. There's one of these funky little fuses here. Can't even see it. Catch black. Anyways. Woo! We're dying to go to the hill. Hey, my lights are still on. So, just waiting on him. Got a couple other cars here in camp. And we're dying to go to the hill, so. As soon as we get everything situated here, we're gonna go take a cruise. I'll take you guys with me. And that car ain't in there. Look at that. Empty. There's Keaton chilling out. Every light in here is on too, man. Good thing electricity's free when you're out here. Or on my ticket. Here it is. This is the video I was telling you about. There's the bad knee. Here it is. Watch it. Go on my channel, you can watch this. Yeah, baby, got him. Look at that. What are you doing? Yeah, go on my channel, you can watch that. It's a short. Go look at my shorts, you can watch that. Ah, what's up? I'm so stoked we made it. And you guys made it too. Look at that, I'm glad you came along, all you guys. Every single one of you. This is fun for all of us. I keep looking over here, but the camera's over here. Sorry, I'm just learning. I'm new to this. I'm not good on camera. I am definitely not as good as Diesel Dave. That guy's really good on camera, man. He's got to watch him sometime. He, uh, just the way he carries himself on camera. Really good. Impressive. But anyways, I want to set some things straight with you guys. Now, I'm just, we're just, we're on the tube ski, okay? So we're just having a good time. I'm trying to make a point that, you know, sometimes in life, you have struggles and pains, and you don't wanna go, you know, things are too hard. But my point I'm trying to make with this whole series is, sometimes you gotta take the time and make the memory, okay? Endure the pain tough it out the pain is worth it the pain is worth it so that's kind of the point with it now my leg is broken because it doesn't work properly and I consider that broken some of you might not it is not broken half which in my opinion it seems like it's getting close but it's not completely broken and I don't need to go to the hospital but I want to thank you guys for being concerned you know, uh, maybe you didn't see the whole video, that's cool. But, just wanna set that square. Hopefully most of everybody will see this, probably won't see this part and they'll comment anyways. Hey, I'm learning, internet's incredible. But here, check out the knee. Okay, we're out here in warmer weather. So, the knee definitely 
does better, but I mean, you'll see me if you see me out here hobbling, hobble ski. This is bad. It's been a long time. I got an appointment when I get home right on Halloween. That's my birthday, and I'm hoping this guy says, we're putting a new knee in there. That'll be killer, okay? That I'd be really stoked to hear. But anyways, you guys aren't here to hear about my knee. So I just wanted to set that clear that I am a smart enough gentleman that if I was in danger, and if the doctor told me I was in danger, I would definitely scoot ski my butt right out of here straight to the hospital so but we're waiting on a few repairs hoping to go for a run to the hill uh, what's up i love these whips this is my buddy at uh 5150 whips his name's andy super nice guy he makes these whips these things here uh, uh everybody everybody's got their opinion of whips I've been with him for a long time. He's warrantied these. I only bought them once when I bought the car. And he's warrantied them one, I think two times because of some bad LEDs. But I did upgrade them to get these new uh, mounts. Look at these. These are so nice. They're just magnetic. They just drop right in. Put that in. Grab this plug here. Plug this guy in. There we go. Whip lights. Rock lights. Whip lights. There they are. New greens. Got to get the other one on. Let's throw this other whip on here. go grab that other cord there she is this is the best having these interior lights look at this Can you imagine dropping your teeth or sunglasses or something well, I don't know why you have sunglasses in the dark. That doesn't make any sense at all. Those are a plus. Let's see what we got. Yeah, baby. Welcome to Glamis. Oh, yeah, the neighbors want to know what the Starlink password is. You guys want the Starlink password? Yeah, there it is. All right, it's...
I think he blew a belt. He's sitting down there. That was a lot of noise. talking about stuff gets crazy around here we just got here we're three days before the event it only gets crazy i'm gonna get roosted on by these guys Yeah, look at this. This guy knows how to run the equipment. That's right. Milwaukee, Milwaukee. baby. Right on, George. Mm -hmm. We got some good stuff. Wait till that sun comes up. Look at that moon. All right. Good night. <laughs>